we're going to talk about WordPress website maintenance. So the first step is to log into your WordPress dashboard and normally you will go to your domain name slash WP dash admin and type in your username and password. You can click remember me if you want to remember that in your computer. Now that you're in the WordPress dashboard, you can notice at the top that WordPress needs updating. WordPress 4.7.4 is available. Also Genesis, which is related to your theme, if you have a Genesis theme by StudioPress, needs updating. And if you look on the left-hand side, plugins, there's one plugin that needs updating. So before updating, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a backup copy of your website. I prefer using Backup Buddy because I found it to be very reliable. So I will go to Backup Buddy and take a look and see if we have a recent backup that is um, current. And so here's one that it was made today, uh, just a short time ago. And so I'm going to download this zip folder of my entire website that Backup Buddy has created. If there was something, if there was a version that was too old, I would click the complete backup button and instead create a new backup and download that prior to beginning the, the updating process. So uh, now that uh, we have downloaded that file of your entire website, the next step is to download the importbuddy.php file which runs the restore process for Backup Buddy. Uh, you can just type in any password there as long as you write it down, remember what it is, and then you will download importbuddy.php. So now you have the two files that you need to restore your website if anything goes haywire during the um, updating process of updating WordPress or updating your plugins. So. Now the next step is we are going to go to WordPress and up, click Update Now. And we'll follow the on-screen prompts to update WordPress. And now WordPress has been successfully updated. The next thing we're going to do is update Genesis to 2.5.0. Again, this is specific to the StudioPress theme that this particular website is running. Uh, if you don't have a StudioPress theme, uh, you may not see this here. So we're going to update that as well. Click to complete the upgrade. And now Genesis has been updated also. Uh, so the next thing that we want to do is update the plugins. And it appears that there are four plugins that need updating. You can do these one at a time or you can do bulk actions and update them at once. I'm going to update them one at a time. First one is Akismet. That one has been updated. Contact Form 7 is now going to be updated. Genesis Simple Edits will be updated. And Jetpack by WordPress will be updated. And what, so why do we want to update WordPress and update the plugins? The main reason is that hackers use outdated versions of WordPress and outdated plugins to gain access to your site. So uh, to keep your site secure, the best way to do that is to always make sure you're running the latest version of WordPress and the latest version of the plugins that you have installed in your website. And so that is it for today. The last step is just to double check to make sure that your website looks like it is supposed to. And you can click around, make sure that everything looks normal, and it does. And that is your tutorial for today.